hey, this is Justin. It is Sunday morning, so thinking about uh, reading or listening to Lulu Miller's book, The Show Exist, right now, and sparked an idea around kids and uh, training for the kids. So there's two things that show up right now. Maybe three things that show up in distraction before I start to kind of feel upset about some of the stuff with the kids. Number one is when they bully each other. And uh, we're just mean to each other. Bullies uh, emotionally sharing when they're mean to each other. Um, especially when my daughter's mean to my son because she's older, stronger, you know. Um, you know, and all. And so that's, uh, you know, they're mean to each other. That's number one. Um, number two is too much screen time when they're spending too much time on the screen. It's just like, and it's actually, ah, it's interesting. These are all things that bug me about me when I spend too much time on the screen. Um, and then number three is exercise. Um, are they getting enough exercise every day to stay healthy? So those are the, oh, and brushing their teeth. Um, they don't brush their teeth. That, uh, it's also, yeah, it's interesting. Each one of these is a pain point. So I look at what bugs me about other people that are pain points that I have for myself. That's a, a good uh, a good clue right there to uh, to start this conversation. So what do I want to say about that? Um, yeah, so we start to we start to look at these things and start to chip away at them. Being mean to each other is something that probably I will keep on the unacceptable path, but I don't need to get emotionally charged when they're mean to each other. Uh, as far as the, the natural screen time, number one, there's a reduction of my screen time. That's number one. Number two, I think that's a big one. Um, yeah, reduction of my screen time. Number two, it is uh, creating, you know, creating screen time. That's what I've been starting to work on. I think it's almost as far as a justification for spending a lot of time on the screen, right? But, uh, um, but that is the number two option around the reduction of gap. Yeah, and then what was number three? Exercising. One, exercise myself every day. Do it visually. Do it. You know, do it tracking, right? Take on exercise routines that that matter um, and that are potentially impactful. Um, that is number. Yeah, that is number three, and then number four is the uh, yeah. Number four is the um, the what was I going to uh, yeah? What was I going to say? Number four is the um, uh, 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 number four is. I can't remember what number four is. I was just come up with a different idea. And um, what do yeah, so uh, we continue? Yeah, so one continue to remove the charge uh personally for these things that bug us because that's number one the things that we start to create anxiety measure track kind of uh, we'll call the failures but the, the breaches where we don't feel good how, how we operate in a particular place and look to upgrade what some of the challenges or the problems are and then look to also work on those things for ourselves and take a principle like look i'm not willing to work on that myself then forget about telling other people I'd love to also have the principle of not telling anybody else what to um what to do or to focus on so Thanks a lot for that, and have a um, yeah, have an amazing uh, have an amazing day. And uh, uh, thank you for that one. And uh,